Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all. But a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child, sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole... You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash him. No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Yikes! Mm. I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again! Right, right here! here. You taught never to hit girls. Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. Well, there's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the man. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel. Deal, huh? No holding back this time. One of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Goodbye, mister. 